guess who is in the house today? Our good friend, Dr. Jim Sears. Good to be here, man. Yeah. Well, I, I want to start with a topic that I think is going to really touch a lot of people out there because I want you to look at this adorable photo. This is a four-year-old Jameson. He has a condition called Pfeiffer syndrome. It's a genetic disorder that prevents the skull from growing normally and affects the shape of the head and face. Unfortunately, someone took Jameson's photo and turned it into a cruel internet meme comparing him to a pug. Mm. Obviously, we're not going to show that. No. Jameson's no. mom, obviously, as a mother would do, has been doing everything she can to get this taken down, but unfortunately hasn't been able to get rid of them all. She now joins us. Alisanne, when you realized this was out there as a mother who loves your son, what, what went through your mind? Um, at first, it was kind of disbelief. Um, yeah. I didn't know why someone did it, who, who would do, I wanted to know who did it, why they did it. Um, it was saddening, then turned to anger. It, I think I felt almost every emotion you could possibly feel, feel I, when I, I found imagine. out about it. I can imagine. Dr. Sears and I are both involved in taking care of patients with Pfeiffer syndrome. Mm -hmm. He, as the pediatrician, and yeah. myself involved with craniofacial surgery. It's a genetic abnormality. He was born with it. You know, it was started for him in the womb, and uh, it affects how the, the skull is shaped. And um, it can affect a few other things. And luckily for Jameson, he has the most mild form. So he's, you know, has normal intelligence. His lifespan is going to be normal. Um, and I think that's the key, that yeah. people... See, see a child like this, mm -hmm. and they make assumptions that, yeah. are, that are totally unwarranted mm -hmm. and All inappropriate. Right. You know, this guy, he's a, he's a, a really, he's a pretty normal four-year-old at home, right? Absolutely. Yeah, he's he's a, your typical four-year-old little boy. He's, he's a terror. He's, yeah, he's a terror. <laughs> he's, mis yeah. he's mischievous. You can always see something brewing behind his yeah. eyes. Yeah. He's, a, he's just a normal little boy. And I know, you know, he's, he, I, I see him as a hero because he's had to endure some pretty intense surgeries yeah. to, get, to keep his skull growing because his skull is exactly. Fuse early it fuses yeah. and doesn't give room for the brain to you grow. You actually have to open up that mm -hmm. skull to allow it to develop as he yeah. develops. What is your plan as a mom? Because I know that at the end of the day, it just comes down to you taking care of your son. Mm -hmm. And how how will you kind of help him deal with these incredibly nasty, insensitive, cruel people? Not just you know now he's four, you can yeah. protect him, but as he gets mm -hmm. older. Um, I think the biggest thing for him when he gets older, and he's got two brothers too, and for them as well, is that this is going to happen. Uh, you know, we're aware of that, but he shouldn't shy away from it. Um, he should stand up for himself and just simply explain, this is who I am. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can take it or leave it, but this is who I am. But you should know that I have Pfeiffer syndrome. This is what it's called. This is what it is. And that's our biggest thing is awareness and education. And hopefully in the long run, the more people that are aware and educated about this, the more acceptance there will be for kids like Jameson and just kids that look different and that are different. And, and Alison, I would just say mom to mom. My oh, kids yeah. are a little older. I know the, the mama bear claws come out mm. when anyone hurts our children. But also, I would, I would encourage you to tell him, when he faces cruel people like this over the course of his lifetime, it's a reflection on them. It's mm. not a reflection Absolutely. on them. Yeah. This low Ugh. to make to make fun of a child yeah. like this. They're they're the ones that need to wake up and yeah. understand oh, sure. and stop. You know, and this day and age, you know, I grew up with a, a brother with Down syndrome, Stephen, and you know, so I I kind of understand, you know, the the pointing and the snickering that can go on. And you know, years ago, you, you know, when we were growing up, it, it was you really just had to worry about your classroom. You know, mm -hmm. twenty or thirty other. That was kids. your world. Yeah. You know, nowadays, the classroom is billions of people. And it, it, the problem just can be just exponential, and that's, I think, what, why you've had such a hard time getting all these memes taken but, but, down. But, but having said that, yeah. I think there's also a blessing here, mm -hmm. which is I'm assuming that you've felt a whirlwind of support also uh. on social media, and I think Absolutely. that you spread that out beyond the small classroom, and I'm assuming, I have to believe that the majority of people out there are like, go Jameson, right? Absolutely. Yeah, we yeah. all do. Go yeah. Jameson. <laughs> Thank you, Alessandra, for opening up about this because there are a lot of people watching right now, probably even young youngsters who will learn from this. And thank mm -hmm. you for sharing thank Jameson you. with us. Thank what you. a beautiful young man. Yeah.